Hi, welcome to the January edition of SMA Sketch Club. My name is Jerry, and today we are going to be looking at a painting um, called The Blue Portal by Fremont Ellis. This painting is currently on exhibit in Gallery 5 of our um, museum. It's part of an exhibit called The West is Home. So let's take a look at this painting and see what, see what we can recognize. What does this look like to you? Does it look like someone's home? Yes, that's exactly what this is. This is part of someone's home, and it looks like it might be the front porch or the entryway to someone's home. And that's what a portal is. A portal is a, an entryway or an entrance. Does this look inviting? Does it make you want to go inside? I think it does. I think it's an interesting picture. So today what we're going to do is we're going to do a sketch, a quick drawing of the blue portal. What we need today is we will need a ruler and that's going to really be an option. If you want to use a ruler, you can. I think I'm going to skip the ruler, but you might want to use one. A pencil and a piece of paper. All right, so let's get started. And um, we're gonna be drawing lots of rectangles today. Do you remember what a rectangle is? It's a four-sided shape. It's kind of like a square, but a rectangle has different measures. The sides are different lengths. So let's get started. And I'm going to draw and see how I'm making short, kind of quick strokes. That's part of sketching. It helps me keep my line straight. We're gonna draw a long rectangle across the top of our paper. If you really want yours to be perfectly straight, you, you may use a ruler, but I'm just gonna wing it. All right, that looks good. Now I'm going to come to about the center of my rectangle, and I'm going to draw a line going down this way. Alrighty, and then bring it over until it's even with the end of the, rec the long rectangle I started with. Again, it's not going to be perfect. I didn't use a ruler, but sketches rarely are perfect. Sometimes artists use sketches to help them plan something out, and then they will redo it later like for a painting or, or a better drawing. All right, so we're on our way. Let's see what we, we need to do now is we're going to go over to this end. No, I'm sorry. Let's, let's go right about here. And we're going to draw one of the posts. This post was in front of the house. Okay. And since it's in front of the house, we wouldn't be able to see that line going through. So I'm going to erase that. Now it looks like it's actually in front of it. All right. Okay, there was another post over here. So I'm going to sketch it. We want it to be about the same its height. Yeah. So we'll come up, and there we go. So already it's starting to look a little bit like um, the picture that we looked at. We have a building, that's the top here, and then we have two posts. Let's see, what else did we have? All right, let's go here and draw a line a little bit shorter here. And there was another post that looked like it was further in the background. So because of perspective, it's going to appear shorter. It's going to make our picture look, look like it has some depth to it. Okie dokie. All right. There was a window over on this part of the house. So let's make a rectangle to be, you know what, sometimes we all make mistakes, don't we? Before I do that, there was a, a little line like this. Let's add that. 
Okay, there was a window right here. So I'm going to draw a rectangle to be the window. On top of that rectangle was a shape, like a triangle. And then because it had molding or the to look like wood, we're going to make that a double triangular line or double triangular shape. All right. Same thing here. Let's put some, put a double line. Looks a little bit like it. I think there was a line about here. We can divide that window up. And just to make it easy, we can do this. All right, so there's our window. Um, one of my favorite things about the picture was that it had a big, what looked like a clay pot right here. So I'm going to draw the top of the clay pot it's like a flat circle. It almost just looks like a, a little disc. And then I'm going to come down. And I would, I would want to erase what's behind that because we can't see through the pot. I'm not real happy with the way that one looked, so I'm just going to erase it and do it again. It's still not the best one I've ever done, but we're going to go with it. All right, what else can we do to make this look a little bit more realistic? All right, I remember that these posts had some texture to them. We could almost see that they were made of wood, so we can put some light lines. This one didn't have quite as much, but still, if we put a little bit of some little lines, it'll look like it has some texture. I think this might have had some too. When things are sitting on the ground, they cast shadows. We can add some shadows underneath our, our clay pot, even underneath these posts here. And then we can add some ground. And I think that's about it. We've got our blue portal. You can leave it as a sketch. You can go in and put some shadows on one side. Light would be coming from this way, so we can put some shadows here. We could put some shading on, on the same side of the post. You can really get detailed with your pencil if you wanted to. You could color in in the windows because it would look like it would be dark inside from the outside. So you could add your details with your pencil, or if you have some crayons or colored pencils and you wanted to do it, go a little step further, you could do something like that. So we've used Fremont Ellis's The Blue Portal, and we've done a quick sketch, and if you want to finish it out with colored pencils or crayons, go for it. This has been fun. I've enjoyed it, so I want to invite you back next month for another edition of SMA Sketch Club. Bye-bye.